Hello and welcome, you're listening to Metal Verbalizers and I am you one. Today I will verbalize Blacklist. Uh, Blacklist is a thrash metal band from Blackpool, England. And uh, the band was founded in 2018. Uh, the band debuted with an EP titled Bombs Away. Uh, the, the, the kind of first thing that I noticed about when I, when I heard about this EP and, uh, uh, and looked it up was that was the artwork uh, which looks very similar to a kind of like a, you, you, you know, a kind of like a liquor bottle. Um, and, and, and it has kind of like the text as well, like unadulterated thrash metal and, and you know, like stuff like uh, EST 2018, like, you know, estimate, estimated 2018. Uh, and it's really like kind of strengthens that reference, you know, so, so I, I, I definitely believe that it's absolutely intentional and and it's also like you know regarding the kind of like like word and all unadulterated it's like a, i i i believe that unadulterated basically means something in in lines of like you 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 know something that is pure and and that doesn't have like any additional things or like um, substances etc uh, and and I, b I believe as far as I know and as far as I understand it that this this term itself is uh, commonly used when you know referring to uh, drinks like uh, liquor etc and um, so uh, I, I, I mean I, I, I think it's just generally a very, very like kind of kind of funny and kind of cool like uh, reference and, and link there so so def definitely I believe that uh, the way I'm kind of looking at album covers and stuff like that is that it should it should always be like it is absolutely most of the time the majority of times I believe the first kind of contact you get with a band is is absolutely majority of the times uh, a picture you know like an album cover so the the album cover is very 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 important to kind of like be interesting and kind of like tr try to form an interest in in the in the uh, uh, in the person like you know actually checking out the music um, like wanting to check it out um, because if it's like if the album cover looks interesting you kind of feel like oh okay that looks really cool so I kind of have to to check this out you know. And uh, what I mean, what I'm kind of trying to say here, basically, uh, is that I think uh, Blacklist definitely, definitely uh, succeeded in that um, with the bombs away, absolutely, because th that whole like reference thing really like got my interest immediately. Um, so so that that's that's always great when when bands are able to succeed in that and. And you know, generally, um, the it it definitely fits the album because, well, the EP if you want to get technical, but but I believe it really fits this because I believe that the EP is great and uh, and it's a definitely it's definitely a good uh, start for the band and uh, and I can absolutely recommend you checking it out, uh, specifically, and uh, Blacklist have also released a cover of. Uh, the Ghostbusters theme song, which is just brilliant in my opinion. <laughs> that that that's always kind of like I I just love that you know when 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 bands kind of do that, uh, when when they really really like kind of doing that kind of like funny things, um, where like kind of funny covers that are not as like you know as likely for a metal band to do. Um, so 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 I think that's really cool and. And it's like kind of stuff when they do like kind of funny half goofy stuff. I really like that because I have the kind of mindset that I believe that metal should generally be fun. It should be like a lot of like jokes. It should should be about like, you know, partying and having a good time, basically. I mean, I mean, sure, you can you can play you can play heavy and fast as hell if you'd want but 
But you cannot you cannot have to keep that you know like kind of funny goofy thing there. Um, I, I I think that's really kind of at least my me personally believe that that the the, the music that usually like kind of sticks with me is usually the the kind of ones that put a little like funny uh, turn on it or like kind of like a little bit like funny or like ironic in a way because there's a lot of bands who kind of do that you know kind of do all this like bizarre and and strange and like over the top stuff uh like ironically and you kind of get a, a humorous effect uh thanks to that and and I love that when bands can do that and and I don't know I personally I feel that that does kind of like is relevant here with with this with this cover that Blacklist have done. So uh, definitely, I think that was a very very good choice of them to to do that cover. Uh, and uh, yeah, I could just say that it's it's great, you know, generally speaking. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, furthermore, uh, they have also three singles which are titled "Blood on the Sand," "Vengeance," and "Crucifix." Uh, and all of these three songs can also uh, be found on the band's debut full-length album, uh, which is titled Disciples of Time, which is just a super cool name, by the way, um, in my opinion. It's like Disciples of Time. It just it just feels right to say it, you know. Uh, and also something else that is kind of interesting uh, for for us, um, you know, Mel Verbalizers. Uh, is that uh, the song Vengeance uh, is actually uh, a song that features Liam Stubbs and Daniel Lucas. And maybe you wonder what makes that kind of kind of like fitting for us here at Metal Verbalizers. And that is because Liam Stubbs is known from the band Hellfected and Daniel Lucas is known from the band Thrasher Wolf. And both of these bands, both Hellfected and Thrasher Wolf, we have talked about before on this podcast. So those two bands have their own specific episodes. Uh, so if you haven't heard those, I would definitely appreciate if you'd like to take your time and check those out as well. Because as well as Blacklist, those two, two bands are great. And I believe that uh, these three bands is kind of the part of something they are referring to as trifecta so i i would absolutely recommend checking those out as well but yeah let's keep talking about blacklist here since this episode is uh, dedicated to them right uh, however i believe that the album cover to disciples of time uh, depicts uh, like a big ben uh, which uh, you know makes total sense to me considering you know, like the title of the album and and them being from England and everything. Uh, I, w- I was actually in contact with the band Blacklist before recording this, and uh, and and there were there were uh, uh, perhaps prim- primarily two things um, that they wanted me to mention in this episode, and and basically the first thing is that they are currently hard at work with new material, so new music will come um so you should absolutely keep your eyes open for that um however i don't know if blacklist really know when this will be released so i'm not going to start speculating on when it will be released or uh when it will be you know officially announced or whatever or if it's a f- another full length, if it's a single, if it's an EP, I don't know that. But the band told me that they are working on new music. So basically, you should absolutely keep your eyes open for that because uh, these guys are very, very talented, and they they really they really know good music, basically. <clears throat> and uh, to the other thing that they wanted me to mention is that. Uh, the band has a new guitar player, um, or well, uh, at least relatively new, so to speak. Um, 
Uh, and I guess I could just uh, take this time to basically, um, well, congratulate him for for uh, now being a member of Blacklist and uh, congratulating Blacklist for having a really good guitar player with him. Um, but uh, anyway, I believe that uh, that now it's kind of time to wrap things up, I believe. Um, I definitely appreciate you listening. Uh, and if you like this episode, make sure to follow Metal Verbalizers. And we will give you more tips like this. And uh, if this episode results in you checking out this band, uh, please, please tag us and let them know that we sent you there. Uh, we would appreciate that lot, a lot, and uh, I'm sure the band would appreciate you checking them out as well. Um, so, uh, well, basically, we'll uh, be back to you soon uh, with another verbalization.